Hello YouTube, this is Puck. How are you doing? How to get an Android for your PC, laptop or a tablet? You know, and I'm talking about Android x86 because I said for PC, not for some Android tablet that is already out there. Okay, so how can we get it and how can we create a bootable installer for that Android? Okay, let's go on the internet and let's see how to find it. It's not so hard. Android x86 download then we will see Android x86 site let it load and up here you will see the old versions 2.2, 2.3 3.2, 4, 4.4, you see that? And up here you see several, several uh, versions. So what, which one should you have? Well, mm -hmm. RC1, RC2. Just look at the date August 8, 2014 May 2014 So this is the latest, right? August 2014 But let's see if there's even newer These are all the old versions You see that? This is all Android here Now, let's say We want to go for this one we hit view there we are it might take a second to load the page and this is the file we need it's 350 megabytes now we now will need a program to create a bootable installer that can be a SD card or a USB stick this time we will go for UNet booting And this is a way to go program you know it's way to go it's really good you can create many um, Linux uh, distribution bootable medias with it uh, but also uh, many other I will show it to you in a second let's download it first from the same site and this is on Windows, eh, peeps? My Mac users will have to do the same, of course. Download the same ISO file and then download UNet boot in for, um, for Mac OS X. So, in fact, this is for Mac and for uh, Windows users. Of course, the Linux people, I don't have to tell them to create a bootable <laughs> USB android because in most versions of linux we have a unit boot in built in such as in uh, linux mint also a very nice distribution that i will uh, soon make a video about again very important because it's a nice operating system very very reliable very customizable it's in fact everything that um, the real a user wants to see uh, on this okay now you will need it's very important of course to do this <laughs> otherwise you cannot do it but you will need a USB stick or a little uh, converter where you can stick in a SD card you know something like that you need that so start sticking it in I will go to my downloads and I'm looking for a drive here and this is one of my my good Windows installation sticks I'm gonna kill now well in fact I don't have to kill it right 
put your stick in the stick as you can see the pen drive is not found why because uh, by the way you can also create a bootable hard disk with this program eh? but we're gonna do a USB drive but why is it not seeing the stick because um, I powered up unit booting before uh, sticking in the stick I had to stick in the stick first and then power up unit booting so now we have the ISO file <laughs> so now we can continue and it's on our desktop and we just select it you see that boom so only thing now you have to do peeps is hit ok and then the stick will be created i'm not gonna do it because i have stuff on my stick i have stuff on my stick and if you're just like wanted to play and you don't know about linux then up here you can see that this little program will also download linux for you and it will also get linux mint for you and then create a bootable media so in fact this is also a download program it will download uh, the, the Linux distribution for you that you want to install or that you want to try out up here you can see parted magic this is also something like G parted let me see if G parted is also in here A B C D E F G new sense G no G parted is not in here but they have parted magic it's just the same thing yo smart boot manager super grub disk so all these like um linux distributions well maybe not all are you know really up to date but <clears throat> if you go for linux mint or so or a tool like parted magic it will be just fine to you know repartition your drive that you want to create uh, for your machine or whatsoever so this is it peeps and now you just hit ok and then your usb stick will be created and then you just stick it into the device boot up from the thing and then android uh, installer will start if you want to know how to install android check out the links in my description up there you will find another video of me explaining and showing to you step by step how to install android on your tablet have a nice day and good luck